Before we move on to multiply a monomial and a binomial, we need to get a strong hold of the distributive property. This is what the distributive property tells us. A multiplied by B plus C is equal to A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C. This common term is multiplied with B first and then with C. This property is valid everywhere. We can have numbers here or even expressions. This will always hold true. This property here will help us multiply a monomial and a binomial. One term multiplied by the sum of two terms. Say we want to multiply 3ab with ab squared plus a cubed d. Let's first write this in simple form. It's 3ab multiplied by ab squared plus a cubed d. Like the distributive property, this will be multiplied with this and added to the product of these two terms. It will be 3ab multiplied by ab squared plus 3ab multiplied by a cube d. Each of these groups now is a monomial multiplied by a monomial. So we group constants and same variables with their powers. The first group can be written as 3 multiplied by a times a multiplied by b times b squared. We grouped same variables together. The second part is interesting. A is a common variable to both and we have B and D in each. That's why we write this as 3 times A multiplied by A cubed multiplied by B multiplied by D. Using the product law, this will be A squared and this will be B cubed. This entire expression becomes 3A squared B cubed. This product will be A raised to 4 and this here will just be BD. This part can be written as 3A raised to 4BD. This product was reduced to this expression. The total exponent of this term's variables is higher. So we should write this first. Then write this term. This is our final answer.